Hi students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn about the morphology of cockroaches. The body of cockroach is divided into three parts, that is the head, thorax and abdomen. Let us first get into the detailed morphology of head. The triangular head is made up of six chitinous plates called cephalic sclerites. In adult cockroach, these six cephalic sclerites are fused together and is called capsule. The first cephalic sclerite is the occiput, which is present at the top part of the head. Occiput is made up of two parts called epicranial plates, which are joined to each other at epicranial suture. Below the occiput, on the anterior part of the head, the second cephalic sclerite called fronds is present and just below the fronds the third cephalic sclerite called clypeus is located. The other three cephalic sclerites are found on the posterior part of the head and these are post occiput which is the fourth cephalic sclerite and gina and post gina being the fifth and sixth cephalic sclerite respectively. The mouth is downward facing and hence called hypognathous mouth and is made up of several mouth parts. The labrum or upper lip is present on the anterior part of the head just below the clypeus. A pair of mandibles are present just inner to the labrum. Mandible consists of grinding and incising regions for cutting the food into smaller pieces. Hypopharynx is a small conical structure which is present between the two maxillae and covered by labrum and labium on the anterior and posterior sides respectively. It acts like tongue and also consists of salivary duct from salivary glands. A pair of maxilla is present beneath the mandible for mastication of food and also helps in cleaning of antennae. The maxilla also consists of a maxillary pulp with olfactory receptors. The last part is the labium or also called the lower lip a pair of labial pulp arises from the labium, which consists of sensory bristles attached to it. The head also bears numerous sense organs. A pair of long and multi-segmented antenna are present just inner to the eye. The antenna arises from the antennal sockets and each segment of the antenna is called podomere. Antenna bears tactile, thermal, as well as olfactory receptors which helps the cockroach in monitoring its surroundings. Two large black colored and bean shaped compound eyes are dorsolaterally placed on the top of the head. Each compound eye is made up of 2000 hexagonal units called omatidia. This omatidia receives the light and provides a mosaic vision to the cockroach. This type of vision has low resolution but very high sensitivity which is required for the nocturnal habit shown by the cockroach. A pair of round pale colored areas situated inner and upper side of each antennal socket are called ocellus or fenestrae. They are the vestigial simple eyes and are sensitive to light. Now let's see the detailed morphology of thorax. The thorax is divided into three segments, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. A small neck arises from the prothorax which connects the head to the body. Each of the thoracic and abdominal segment is made up of four chitinous sclerites. The dorsal sclerite is called the tergum. The two lateral sclerites are called pleura and the ventral sclerite is called sternum. The tergum of prothorax is the largest sclerite of the body and is called protonum. The function of it is to protect the neck. Each of the thoracic segment bears a pair of leg that is proleg, mesoleg and metaleg arising from prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax respectively. All three pairs of legs are similar in structure. Two pair of wings also arises from the thorax. The first pair of wings called four wings arises from the mesothorax 
hence so also called mesothoracic wings. These wings are thick, leathery and dark in color and are not used for flight but covers and protects the hind wings. The second pair of wings called hind wings arises from the metathorax hence so also called metathoracic wings. These wings are thin, transparent, delicate and broad as compared to the four wings and are used for flight. The abdomen is made up of 11 segments in embryo but in adults it is reduced to 10 segments. The abdominal part is broader than thorax and dorsoventrally flat. The abdomen differs in males and females. In case of males, the 7th tergum covers the 8th tergum. The 9 sternums are present in the abdomen but the sternum of 10th segment is absent. All the sternum are visible in case of male abdomen. In females, the 7th tergum covers the 8th and the 9th tergum and the 7th sternum covers the 8th and the 9th sternum. So only 7 sternums are visible in female abdomen. In both males and females, long and thick structures called anal circus arises from the 10th tergum. These structures contain tactile and phonoreceptors. A pair of thin and small outgrowth called anal styles also arises from the 9th sternum in male cockroaches but are absent in females. These structures also contain tactile receptors. So that is all for the morphology of cockroaches. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel.